are here, it makes a difference in questions six and seven. Okay, you guys okay with that? Also, we're not done. Let's give you some more questions. Because remember, the first place you start with this topic is in mastering that definition. And we want to be able to do that. Okay? Like I said, we don't want to lose anybody. Do you, guys, you guys think, do I preach too much? Be honest. Tell me. I can take it. I've taken a lot worse. Do I preach too much? You sure? You guys don't tell me the truth ever. No? Okay, good. Here we go. Another example. You're going to have three children. Three children. What's the probability? of having one, no girls, two, one girl, three, two girls, four, all girls, five, at least one girl. Six. At least two girls. Seven. Less than two girls. Eight. No more than two girls. You guys remember some of this language? You guys remember this language? No? OK. And I'll put it over here. And I'll put a chart here for you. OK? Another example. We're going to go over all these examples. Here's a chart. I'm going to call this a, I don't know, a mortality chart. You guys want to know what, what does mortality mean? Anybody know? Where are the English majors? What does it have to do with death? OK. I hate to bring people down, but do you guys know that there are men and that there are women? And we are, to some degree, different. But we're also similar in a lot of ways. But does it make sort of sense for us to keep track of you know, different types of mortality for sex? You guys know that I'm going to make up the data because it's an exercise, right? Like doing push-ups is an exercise. But do you guys know that women, men and women somewhat die of different, for different reasons? Do you guys know that? Well, how do they determine that men and women die for different reasons? They collect the data. And they do this likelihood stuff, probability. Okay? Do you guys even know mental illness? Hmm? There's a lot of different, you know, things associated to men and women based on their sex and based on other factors. Like for example. Well, the age, yeah. Yeah. Um, for example, do you guys know that married women suffer from mental illness at a greater rate, higher probability than single women? <laughs> do you guys know that? So what do men do? They drive women crazy. Is that right? That's maybe some, that could be somebody's um, claim by looking at the data. Ah, you know what? If you're, if you're a lady 
you're more likely to suffer from a mental illness than if you're married than if you are single. Okay? Men, however, you are more likely to suffer from a heart attack if you are married than if you are single. So what does that mean? Although, although men drive you crazy, I'm sorry, yeah. If you're a woman, men will drive you crazy, right? But in the end, what are you going to do to him? You're going to kill him. <laughs> so it's a way to look at things, okay? This is why you take the class and you look at this stuff and you read about it, you know. And I just like to say, some of the studies you read about all the time, you know, um, <laughs> you got to remember, people write things so that you can read it, so they try to sell it to you. And a lot of times if you read articles on MSN, MSN's infamous for this kind of stuff. They're trying to pique your interest. So things that you typically believe, they'll come out and give a counterexample based on some study just to get you to read it. And you've got to really read it to think about what they're saying. And a lot of times they're not really saying much. Okay, but statistics and this kind of stuff is out there. You can read about it. Um, anybody do this kind of stuff? You guys actually read the internet and go, oh, interesting. This happens? No? Of course. Did you know that um, women are more likely to suffer mental illness if they're married? Did you know that stuff? No? Did you know that? You, oh, you read it, see? Exactly. But did you know that women are more like, you know, that men die who heart attacks if they're married? Okay. All right. We're going to talk now about a few things. Let's say cancer. Heart disease, and just other. Now, I'm making these values up, okay? It's not really happening in real life. You don't make the values up. You collect the data. Is that true? This is an exercise. So we'll say, okay, um, 28. Forty-nine. 62, 21, 12, 18. If you select a person at random, what's the probability? that the person died of, well, that the person, first of all, one, was a man, two, was a woman, three, died of cancer. Four, died of something other than cancer. And five, was a male who died of cancer. Six, female who died of cancer.